That is not a thing to follow. It's a symbol I like for the symbology and what the symbol means and what I got out of the symbol. But Baphomet is not a man I pray to. And he's not a man to pray to. And he's not a man. And he's not a thing. It's a picture. And it's a picture. Yes. Baphomet is not a man. He's an image. Baphomet is a representation of you. Right? So, for me, Baphomet represents me. You. Right? Balance of duality, polarities, right? As above, as so below, right? So, Baphomet basically is the energies of duality of darkness and light, right? Remember, before light was darkness, darkness was formed. So, you think about this. We are in the mother's womb for nine months in the walls of darkness, right? The triple six. So out of the darkness, the body was formed, which is light, right? As within, so it out, right? So Baphomet, why you see, this is why Baphomet has boobs, right? Because that represents the, fem the feminine side of, of Baphomet. Right? What, which is why, why he also has long hair. Okay? So, Baphomet represents the energies of masculine and feminine. Or let's put this in order. Feminine and masculine. Right? It represents the duality. Okay? So, for me, the image of Baphomet goes more deeper. Right? It also goes in like, like Brother Panic said... Baphomet is also Pan, right? Pan is also the son of Hermes, which is why you see the Caduceus right in the middle of his belly. That right there is by the solar plexus, right? The fire, the element of fire is the solar plexus. The Caduceus represents alchemy, right? And this is also goes into medicine, right? That's the same symbol for the pharmacists use to represent medicine. Right? And you see how the, the eight, you see how the snakes wrap around like the number eight. And the number eight represents affinity, right? The number of affinity, the number of transformation, right? The number of transformation also death from rebirth. Okay? So, look at the top of his forehead, you see the symbol of all the elements of alchemy. Earths. Air, fire, water, and spirit. And this is why you see also the symbol of alchemy right here. And it's upside down. Because the symbol of alchemy upside down, the five-pointed star, represents you coming out your mother's womb, right? You coming out head first, the crown, right? The crown is coming out the womb. At first, that's what it represents, right? So, also, well, we'll go into that next time. But let's let's see let's hear what he has to say. Who represents something that I made bigger in me? There's uh, there's there's that things he I made know. bigger in him, right? So this is how I go into this because it's a symbol that I made bigger in me. Right? Because look, look at the head of Baphomet. Right? The head of Baphomet also goes into the ram. Right? Which goes in symbolization or symbolizes me. The ram. Right? So also, the ram rules the head. Right? The head. Ram rules the head. Okay? From down about the symbol, and then again, there's things that the thing has meant to me, and that would make sense because since I was a child, my name was Panic, and that is Pan. 
So, so something in my spirit was already telling me, I know this. And this is why we had to study it. But that's me. That's me. That's why this whole thing is a know thyself mm -hmm. experience. Yep. So I want you to know that. To truly free yourself, listen to the things that sound free when people talk to you. Dressing up and paying dues and all the rest of that stuff, it can help you get there. So, so you just got to, any group, there's no bad group per se, you know what I mean, for the most part, I guess, if they're not really trying to be bad. But groups can get bad because there are things you have to either do, wear, say, or be, or your behavior. That's actually what makes it a group. That's what makes it a group because you act a certain way or, or, or believe a certain way. And if you believe a certain way, believe, that means you have a ceiling on some of your thoughts. So that means y'all hit the same ceiling. And when you hit that ceiling, the choice only becomes one thing. I, I've grown beyond the group, or you said, I'm not gonna go beyond this ceiling because I wanna socially stay in the group. So if that's the case and that's happening, make communication easy, no matter where you are, thanks to this amazing device. This device lets you